Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make the best chili ever. This chili is so good and packed full of flavor, so let's get started with the video. We're gonna begin by preparing our ingredients. Dice a half of a green bell pepper. Then dice a half of a red bell pepper. After that, chop one onion. Then dice a jalapeno. Start by cutting off the stem, then cut it in half, and using a spoon, scoop out the seeds. After that, you can start dicing your jalapeno. In a large pot over medium heat, add one tablespoon of olive oil. Then either add ground turkey meat or ground beef. I'm using ground turkey. After that, add your seasonings. I added seasoned salt, Creole, onion powder, garlic powder, and pepper. Cook your meat until it is browned. When your meat is finished cooking, take it out of the pot. Okay, so now we're going to use that same pot. Add more olive oil if needed. Then add your diced bell peppers, onion, and jalapeno. Lightly season everything with salt and pepper. Then saute for about three to four minutes over medium heat. Now turn your heat down to low and add two and a half tablespoons of chili powder, two tablespoons of ground cumin, and a half a teaspoon of ground pepper. Then add one teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of tomato paste, Then, after everything is mixed in, add your meat back into the pot. Okay, so now we're going to add 2 tablespoons of light brown sugar, 1 tablespoon of garlic powder, and one to two tablespoons of minced garlic. 
Honestly, I should have added the minced garlic when I was sauteing the vegetables, but I forgot to add it. So just to let you know, add the minced garlic when you're sauteing your vegetables. All right, then add one and one half cup of chicken broth and one 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes, one drained can of dark red kidney beans, and one eight ounce can of tomato sauce. Then I added one more tablespoon of garlic powder, another half a teaspoon of pepper, one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of oregano. Now let your chili simmer over low to medium low heat for 20 to 25 minutes. Your chili should become thick after the 20 to 25 minutes. Let it cool for 5 to 10 minutes. Then it's ready to serve. Once you've added your chili in a bowl, add your favorite toppings. I added sour cream, shredded cheese, and some green onions. And this is the finished product. The chili was so, so good. My mom said it tasted similar to her grandma's chili and that it's been a long time since she had really good chili, so that made me super happy. The chili was super well seasoned and had a lot of flavor. It didn't take me as long as I thought it would take to cook it, like it was fairly simple and pretty quick. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in the video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! So as I was eating the chili, I had an idea. I was like, wait a minute. I got fries, alright, and I can make them crispy, okay, and I have chili. I'm gonna make chili cheese fries.